Hi everyone, here we will see what is the purpose of gradients in deep learning and machine learning applications. Here for optimizing the process that means to reduce the error we need optimization approach. Here the gradient based optimization approach is very useful to reduce the error in the machine learning and deep learning applications. The optimization is the task of either minimizing the value or maximizing the value of any function f of x by varying the variable x. Optimizing the problems here uh, by minimizing the f of x is used in uh, de uh, uh, deep learning and machine learning applications because the error to be reduced. To reduce the error we are going to use the minimization of function f of x. The maximization can be used whenever we need uh, maximizing the uh, uh, profits like that. So, when you want to achieve the maximization, uh, we can use the minimization algorithm itself by multiplying the minus 1 with the f of x. So, minimization problem can be converted or transforming into the maximization problem. The function which is to be minimized or maximized is called objective function or the criterion or the boundary function. If the function is minimization function then we can call the name as cost function or loss function or error function. These three terminologies can be used in the ML and DL applications whenever we want to use the gradient based optimization. Value which is minimizing or maximizing a function which is denoted as the sub superscript x dash equal to arg minimum of f of x. That means we want want to reduce the error with respect to x. So, here we are having the uh, error. So, error is available in this uh, position. Then, if you moving this side, then that is called ascent. So, gradient ascent. So, rate of change. Gradient means changing the value in part particular direction. So, gradient ascent means we are moving ahead. That means, um, um, increasing the value then gradient descent okay descent means decreasing the value so descent means we will decrease the value uh, towards a downward direction so ascent means upward direction so here for minimization purpose we will use the descent approach to reduce the error here the gradient descent optimization is called first order iterative optimization process which is used to find the local minimum of your differentiable function f of x so here we will vary the x to reduce the error after uh, differentiation with first order f dash of x or we can say do by do x with respect to error. Uh, mostly we will use the weight parameters do e with respect to do w i and the do by bias parameter do b i with res uh, here we will use the error. So, gradient descent of any function at any point which is representing the direction of steepest decrease. Already I told you descent in the sense we will decrease the uh, value or minimize the value. Suppose our error, so j is representing the error. So, in the graph the error is uh, available at the iteration 1. Then we are increasing the iteration 1 by 1. So, it has to be decreased uh, that is also steepest decrease. We should not go like this and again uh, here like this then like this right again like this we should not go like this we should come steepest you see it is coming steepest decrease okay so this is called descent of your function at that particular point x then uh, when has to be stopped this algorithm this algorithm has to be stopped when it is reaching close to zero okay so you look at that it is reaches it is reaching the 0 0.2 at theta value 1 and theta zero so when it is reaching the 0 0.2 which is close to the zero then we can stop the algorithm but here you see which is not 0 0.2 which is 0 0.7 so 0 0.7 is not close 
to the zero that's why still we are keeping keep on applying the uh, gradient descent to towards reaching the uh, close to zero that is the gradient descent then another one uh, optimization for maximization gradient ascent which is a function at any point which is uh, showing steepest increase you look at that our uh, our error is available here the either it has to go this one or this direction or this direction okay so here which is using the direction steepest direction this one towards a that is called ascent of your of your function at the particular point so gradient ascent in the sense the rate of change towards the steepest direction is called gradient ascent and uh, we will use the uh, example for linear model okay linear model will use the linear function here we are using the w1 x1 plus w2 x2 etc wn xn plus bias b so it can be represented w transpose x plus b in the uh, deep learning or machine learning model so using this function we can ca uh, calculate the y dash after calculating the y dash that is the predicted value right so from the data set we can calculate the predicted value and uh, we will compare the actual value so so here data set is having uh, the actual value here uh, y and the predicted value y dash so after finding that we have to calculate the error between the predicted value and the actual value so after calculating the error we can apply the uh, gradient descent to minimize the error so this model is always needs a lower error and maximum accuracy so when we will get the maximum accuracy by minimizing the error we will get the maximum accuracy by reaching the local minima or global minimum by using the learning rate alpha so our you assume our error is available in this place so either you have to go through this distance this is one local minimum this is another local minimum so which one will be giving you the best value so gradient descent will uh, reach the local minimum okay any local minimum that may be higher or lower value so here uh, we will use the learning rate uh, for uh, st stepping purpose when how can we apply this gradient descent algorithm by using the convergence theorem so initially we will assign the uh, values randomly right so w0 w1 etc wn will be assigned randomly randomly then we will have the data set x1 x2 etc so here we will apply this formula then calculate the error so after calculating the error you will get the value j so now we have to check uh, either it is uh, perfectly classifying or not classifying if it is per not classifying only you will get the more error then we have to update the weights by using uh, gradient uh, rule by using by updating the weight parameter so new parameter equal to old parameter minus the learning rate alpha and gradient with respect to uh, wi uh, of the error so it can be represented by using partial differentiation first order partial differentiation do j divided by do w i how much time we have to keep on do that you look at that if error is available here we have to keep on do that iteration 1 iteration 2 iteration 3 iteration 4 iteration 5 iteration 6 here iteration 7 it is reaching close to 0 so at the iteration 7 it is clo reaching close to 0 so uh, at, until reaching the uh, slope which is close to 0 we have to keep on repeat that process by updating the parameters wi so this is the way to perform the gradient descent so here the alpha is playing major role uh, to reach the uh, value which is close to zero that is the converging point if alpha is very small then model will take some time to learn okay you look at that this is the small learning rate it will take the if, if our error is here then it will step by step smaller steps it will take to reach the converging point here but if your value is too large then what will be happen so this can be considered as a in this graph this can be considered as a smaller learning rate if your learning rate alpha is 
too large then what will be happen you see our error is here at initial stage then you look at that it is not uh, selecting the steepest descent steepest descent which is selecting uh, the horizontal method slightly angle so if, if your error is here then it is not going down it is going this way okay then after going to this way then it is going this way actually we need not to go like that then it is going this way so you see we are not uh, going towards the down which is close to zero which is going somewhere else so the convergence point you cannot reach uh, quickly when your learning rate is uh, too large so we will take much time to reach the converging point that is called minima local minima or global minima so this is the purpose of learning rate in the deep learning and machine learning applications of gradient optimization